Welcome back to our channel. Hi. Best cooking and adventure. Here is Isha. Say hi. Say hi, Isha. No. And Tanuja. Hello. So here is Ben. Best cooking and adventure. Welcome to our channel. Good job, Ben. Yes, guys. So today it is a snowy day outside. Yeah. Let me guys. It's a little snow outside. Yeah. And it's a new school today. So the kids them are off. So today. I'll be making some kafam curry, so which I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, I am not sure how the best way to describe kafam as a fish. I'm not good with that. So maybe when Hub hubby is doing the taste test, he will tell you guys some more about that fish. So yes, yeah, so I'll be currying it and uh, um, and I'll show you guys how I do it. So here is the kafam guy. Like I was telling you guys, um, this is my kafam. It's already clean and already washed are ready to be cooked so i here i have my garlic pepper some green seasoning and i have my um, masala and curry powder all mixed together and i have some green skelly uh, when some well shallow green onion scallions whatever you guys call it i'll put some tomatoes green mangoes of course with some pepper to boil really pepper and i have some okra here that i'm gonna add to it so I will walk you guys and um, through how I'm gonna be making this kafam curry. Let's cook an adventure, guys. So I have our baby in here. Your mom's gonna be helping. So now we're gonna cook here. We'll see you and end the cooking adventure. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So we are out with my mom here. So three ends here. So now. We'll see you in the channel with the curry. All the ingredients ready to cook the curry. Yes, guys, all the ingredients ready and being helped. And here it is, everything is ready to be cooked. Yep, that's right. Okay, guys, so here I am. The, the oil is hot, so I put my masala in to go in first. So let this fry up for a little bit. I like when my masala fry on the oil. You know, come all the way up. This is a trick I learned from my sister. She always put her masala in first so it could fry. Until you see it all up on the oil, then you start to put your garlic, pepper, onions, whatever else you need, what you use to chunky your curry with. So this called it chunky. I'm this is what we see in Guyana, chunky. So you see how good that looks and it smells amazing. So my garlic and pepper is in there now with the green seasoning. I know my masala look kind of dark. But it's not that dark. I think it's just my lighting. Okay guys, so this is how everything is in. My, I put my tomato. I see a lot of people put tomato like halfway or uh, close to the end of your curry. But I always put my tomato in my bunje when I'm bunje in it. But you know, everybody get it differently. That's my bougie. Let's be in coffin. Um, so this is my masala bungee. And I'll, I'll let this bungee for like the next two, three minutes. And then I'll put my fish in. So yes, guys, after a couple of minutes and my, uh, uh, my bungee was all fried on the oil, I add the fish in and give it a good stir. I let this um, bungee now with the fish and the masala for like four to five minutes. Let it bungee well. And depends on the heat of your stove or fireside or whichever you cook it on, you know, you just, this is the texture you want. Let it just fry and cook good in your uh, masala. Okay guys, so I just put the water in. This is like after five minutes of it cooking in the masala, being chunky. So now this is, the water I'll put, and as you know, I didn't put too much um, water just over to cover the fish a little bit because fish don't take long to boil. So this in like five to ten minutes is going to be all good. Okay, once the mango and everything is boiled, so this is the texture. It looks good. I'm going to add the okra because it's not going to take too long, so I'll add the okra in now too. 
Okay, guys, so I add my okra in, so I'm gonna cover this and leave this to cook now. Okay, guys, so look at that. My curry is cooking and it's um, almost there. It's almost finished, guys. That's my mango showing there. So you see, look, it's cooking. My fish is not loose. So that's the whole. You know, when you when you already do that, you just push it. This is how you stir fish. <laughs> so it don't break up. <clears throat> okay, guys, so my from curry is all done. This is it. It's all done. Okay, guys, so this my curry is all done. For some reason, my curry looks so dark, but I think it's just... So you see the okra is there, a piece of green mango, that's the tail of the fish. And here's the ball pepper, some scallions. So yeah, this is my cup from curry, guys. Alright guys, <coughs> best cooking and adventure in your house again. <coughs> Look what we have here. Some cup from curry. Got the nice okra. And look, my favorite pepper. Alright. Get on to business here. Yeah, get my green mango. Piece of cough from here. This will be pepper. Oh, it's banging. Happy wife, happy life. This is so good. I'm gonna try back a piece more here. By sunny and with the hand, guys. Oh, yeah, this is how <laughs> this real guy in style. Enjoy that's how you enjoy a good fish curry. Mmm, you want to try it? Ben? Yeah, it's vice versa. Come in, <laughs> a full belly husband is a happy husband. Is it? I got a piece. <laughs> Let's see, Ben wants his Can dad to feed him. How it, how it is, Ben? Good. Yeah, nice. did you like how you have mommy? Did you tell that how you have mommy prepare it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okoto. It's okoto here. It's banging. My favorite in, in the fish curry. Mm -hmm. So you guys should really try this. Thank you once again for um, supporting and watching. Have a great day. Peace out.